In this video, I will show you how to turn a band app sample like this one into something completely different, like this. The great thing about remixing samples is you can create a song, even if you can't play a single instrument. On the track mixer screen, tap on the plus icon below the bottom track. Then tap on Sampler on the pop up menu. At the bottom of the screen, tap on the edit icon that looks like a pencil. At the bottom of the screen, tap on Browse. At the top of the screen, tap on Loops. At the top of the screen, scroll through the tabs and tap on the Guitar tab. For this video, I will use the Country Trap Guitar 2 sample. So either scroll down the sample list to find the Country Trap Guitar 2 sample, or tap on the search icon at the top of the screen. And tap in Country Trap 2. Then tap on Country Trap Guitar 2 to install the sample onto your phone or tablet. Make a note of the tempo and the key scale of the sample that is written below the words Country Trap Guitar 02. Then tap on the sample again. Press your finger on the sample in Pad 1 and drag it to Pad 2 to duplicate it. Then drag it to pad 3 and drag it to pad 4. Now tap on pad 1. Then at the bottom of the screen, tap on edit. At the bottom of the screen, press on play. Notice how the sample has four different chord sections, so we can split the sample into four parts. On the Wave Editor screen, drag the grey vertical trim marker at the end of the Wave image to the left, so it is near the end of the first part. Now tap on Crop, then drag the grey vertical trim marker to the left again, so it is at the end of the first part. Then at the bottom of the screen, tap on Done. Now tap on the second pad and then tap on Edit. This time drag the grey trim markers at the beginning and end of the wave in the Wave Editor screen to just before the beginning and just after the end of the second part of the sample, pressing on the play button to check how the sample sounds. Then tap on Crop. Then drag the grey trim markers again to the beginning and end of the sample part. Finally, tap on Done. Now do the same with Pad 3 and trim and crop to the third sample part.
Then do the same with pad 4 and trim and crop to the fourth sample part. Now at the bottom of the screen, tap on the tick icon. Before we remix the sample, it's a good idea to set the tempo of the song to the tempo of the sample if the sample uses patterns. And it's also a good idea to set the key scale of the song to the key scale of the sample if the sample uses chords or chord patterns. At the top of the screen, tap on the settings icon. Tap on the plus or minus icons to set the tempo to the same tempo as the sample. Then tap on revision key and tap on the key scale of the original sample on the pop-up menu. At the top of the screen, tap on the wave icon. To remix the sample, at the bottom of the screen, tap on the Step Sequencer icon. Then tap on the first square on the pad one row. At the bottom of the screen, tap on the play icon and notice only a small part of the first sample is played. Now drag the end of the note to the right until the note is one bar long. Then tap on the play icon again and notice how the whole sample now plays. Now tap on the note to delete it. Then add notes to the four rows to create a remix of the original sample. Finally, at the top of the screen, tap on the X icon. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.